Hello once again, Caddy de la Cruz here from VehicleMaintenanceAndRepairs.com As you know our motto, in helping others we prosper We are about to do it again, we are going to show you how to replace CV joint rubber boots A CV joint rubber boot is basically, the function is there to contain the grease within the CV joint Okay, that is to prevent the CV joint from prematurely packing up Alright, um, in this case we will not be replacing the CV joint itself because um, the advantages of doing regular inspections and maintenance services is that we find problems like this in time before it uh, leads to um, you know uh, bigger problems like in this case we found the torn boots and uh, we basically saved the CV joint so it wasn't necessary you know for us to replace the complete CV joint itself but if your CV joints are making a noise and you feel it needs to be replaced replace your new CV joints with the new boots okay it's the same procedure that I'll be showing you it is just that you will replace new new CV joints with our old ones all right so I will also be showing you how to fit the shaft to this particular vehicle it is a Golf 1.4 a Volkswagen City Golf, a very popular car here in Cape Town, South Africa, where I live. It's especially um, popular amongst the younger crowd. Um, I suppose it's because it's pretty easy to maintain, it's cheap to maintain, it's light on fuel, parts are freely available. It's a four-door hatch, so it's a very versatile car for a youngster, you know, in and out the active lifestyles and so forth. So we'll be replacing the inner and the outer CV, CV uh, boot rubbers. As you can see, the inner ones have their own uh, flanges with it so uh, you know you get the kit with new bolts and clips and all sorts of things I'll show you how to do it as we go along now and then the tools we're going to be using it's fairly basic you know we're going to be using a hacksaw, a rubber mallet, a metal hammer, side cutter, a couple of old screwdrivers, a circle of pliers, a crimping tool for the um, for the bands um, you know that holds the CV boots uh, rubbers on um, uh, what I haven't shown here is a box cutter, we'll be using that to easily remove the old boot, you know, we'll just cut it off out of the way and then we'll be using lots of old rags. Prepare to get your hands in the dirty because this is a little bit of a messy job, but before we climb into that I would just like to take you back to my new logo I've designed, I've designed this myself, I put pen to paper, I scanned it into a cup uh, to um, to a simple uh, uh, um, Microsoft uh, editing tool and this is the end result. Please uh, give me your opinion, uh, I value your opinion and um, I'd really like to know what you think of my new logo. So without further ado, let me show you how to fit these babies. You can see it's got like a crack there, it's really little grease inside. So basically the first thing we have to do is um, we have to get off. And there we are. I use a hexel. That's it. Okay. We'll just use a box cutter and we'll just get the, the cover basically cut off. Okay. Be very careful because you're using a very sharp knife here, box cutter. It's very known for being pretty sharp. You can see this boot is probably the original boot on here, it's never been replaced before. And then uh, all that's left to do now is just to take the joint and just give it a nice tap at the back there. Okay, give it a good wipe down. Get the old grease off there, okay, and uh, you can see it has a shim, two shims inside, which we basically just gonna clean off. Another shim there, they basically fit together, okay. You can see it's concave, and uh, you fit the convex on the outside, so when you put it on. It goes against uh, the shaft on the inside here, it goes in like that and that bit basically fits inside the U-joint there. 
you know, to centralize, keep it centralized. Okay, quite simply. Okay, so we've cleaned the, the CB joint off a little bit over there. Okay, we're going to be replacing it. Um, by just putting in the original joint because uh, there's not much damage, you know. It's not making a noise, it's just that the boot started leaking grease. So we're putting a brand new boot with the two clamps. I'll show you how to do that now. And some fresh grease. Okay, those Okay, back again. The first thing that we do is we slide, we'll slide one of the, we slide the inner the clamp on. Okay, just so that it's out of the way. Basically, you just pry the, the boot over. Just be careful that you don't tear the boot with the initial stages of fitting. Just get it nicely over the shaft. Okay, that's what I would do with it. Just pull it all the way over, peel it back, because it's nice and flexible with it being a rubber. Okay, so now we'll take the we'll take the spacer. Okay, remember that the, you will see that it basically concave. Okay, the convex shows towards the inner side of the shaft, and that we will basically, you know, because you want that to go to fit like that on your CV joint. So we'll put that in afterwards. Okay, now what we'll do is I'll show you how to grease up your your CV. Okay, we'll just sort of cut the corner off this packet. Alright, uh, let's get rid of that old parts that we've taken off. We'll take the CV joint like that. Okay, you just put that. It's almost like baking a cake crack when you're putting the icing on that. So you put it into the hole, squeeze it nicely, and you will see it'll start it'll start oozing out. Okay, you can just take your finger and push and you can see it starts oozing out along the sides there. Over enough grease because what centrifugal force will do once the vehicle runs, centrifugal force will basically fling this grease to the inside to the inside of your shaft. Okay, so that's why we always keep some old rags handy. This is a messy job. There is just no other way of doing it. Okay, you're going to get your hands full of grease. Prepare yourself for that. Lots of people work with gloves. I have never worked with gloves. I just find that it impedes the feel of when I work on vehicles. Okay. So what we'll do is, we'll take that CV joint now, and we'll just get that splines nicely lined up, okay? We'll take a rubber mallet, because we don't want to damage the thread over there. So we'll just knock, knock that, you will feel it'll actually click in, okay? It'll click on, onto, the, onto the clip. Right, so we've got that in place. Now we'll take our rubber boot, we'll just feed our rubber boot over, and... Um, Go the rest of the way. Okay, um, so we'll put the we'll put the back clamp on. Okay, we'll just position the rubber nicely. Um, we'll put the back clamp on. Um, let's give it a bend out, make it fit nicely. And then here is where our special. Just give it a light tap on. This is where our special pliers comes in. Okay, just over and we just sort of crimp it down that tightens it up nicely how it basically works is um, if you see uh, you will see that they, they, they are uh, sort of three um, spikes those spikes go into holes okay and as this gets crimped gets closed up it obviously it pulls the clamp together okay and that keeps it tight right very, very basic and simple. Now just a quick tip, we've got the back clamped. Before we clamp the front, we just stick a screwdriver in there to get any vacuum or air out, okay? Because when you put this this, this um, boot on, you will get a vacuum inside. And you don't want the vacuum there because the vacuum will build pressure, okay? And it'll prematurely rub to the boot, okay? So we'll take our, um, our outer clamp, feed it over, okay? There is just no right or wrong way, um, you know, you just feed it over and get it to sort of those teeth, um, those spikes, to basically grip into any three of those uh, cutouts. And then just simply take your special clamp. You could use, you could use this as well, 
Okay, you could tighten with that, but because I've got this tool, I will use this tool. Okay, just down, that is what the tool does. It just sort of uh, holds it together, and those two just basically pulls your, pulls your clamp together. Okay, it's very simple. Um, just no rocket science. So all you need to do is just close it up, and beautiful. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, all sorted we've got the vacuum out inside so we are ready to fit the shaft but i'm going to show you how to do the inner uh, cv boot as well this is the outer one with the spline and the thread this goes to your wheel side okay okay so i've basically taken the bolts out that holds the flange onto the cv joint um i left one in so just to show you how to do it okay we'll just basically tap it out like that okay, it comes out for, for each two bolts there is a bracket okay and that basically fits um, like that okay into into the holes like that so you have three of these okay all around and that holds the inner cv joint it holds it to the uh, gearbox of your car. Okay, so that's all taken off. So now we have to take the we have to take the actual CV joint off. I'll just clean some of the grease off here so that you can see that here is actually a a clip here. So I'm going to take the camera down a little and give you a better view there. Let me just get the clip to leave it out, and that's what the clip looks like. Okay. So we've got the clip out and basically now we will just take our rubber mallet and we'll just sort of pull the whole unit off. So you just uh, put the CV joint in the vise and use a screwdriver and we'll take the boot off. Okay, you can see that boot's pretty damaged there as well. So now we'll put this whole lot together with clean grease and a new boot. Okay, we're going to be putting this boot back onto the shaft. Okay, the, the inner, the inner CV, CV joint there. Just a, a, a word here. As you can see, the CV joint has a thinner part and a thicker part. Okay, this thinner part faces the outside of the joint because this will go against your gearbox flange. Your gearbox flange will be here and this will fit nicely into your gearbox flange. So please don't fit the joint that way around. That's the wrong way, okay? The wrong way. That's the correct way. Okay. So first is we put the clamp on, okay? So that we don't need to um, take the clamp completely um, open. So we'll put the boot on. And as I say, just be careful that you do not damage anything during this process. Okay, it's not, not the easiest to do. All right, but once you have it on, it will be fine. So we'll take our... CV joint, inner CV joint, and we get it nicely splined, okay, okay, so we'll put our joint on, we'll put our clamp back with our circular pliers, let's get it nicely pushed on, make sure, let's just make sure that it's secure, it won't pop out. Right, so what we'll do is we'll uh, just grease up this CV joint, okay, between the flanged, um, we'll just stick the grease in nicely in the back there, and you can see the grease basically sticking through, centrifugal force will obviously push this grease um, outward, okay, and lubricate the complete joint as, as you drive along, so the main thing is to get the grease in there, okay. Once the grease is nicely in, you can see it's pushing out nicely and lubricating the whole joint. Okay, as I say, it's a messy job. It's no easy, clean way of doing it. So that's why I have an abundance of oil. Now we will take, we will take the the flanged boot, and we'll just give it to line up nicely. So we're going to need, um, we're going to need one of the flange bolts. We put in there and we just get it to come through like that quite simply okay so we have we have six of those that we need to put in 
Okay, so we've got all six of the bolts in over there. You can see it's nicely uh, all in place. Uh, we've put the clamp on and we just need to crimp the clamp, okay, to get it to tighten up so that we don't get any uh, grease leaking out of the leaking out of the boot. And that's it. That is how you replace universal joint boots, rubber boots, how you grease them back up. Okay, it's quite simple. Um, we've done the, this is the inner. So the points to remember is that the, 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 the thinner side, the cutout side, okay, goes to the gearbox side. In actual fact, you will know you're putting it on wrong because this will be very loose inside your flange of your, of your boot. Okay, so remember that, um, you know, these old boots, uh, these boots, they do come with their own flanges on. Okay, this one's been damaged, obviously. So, you know, this will be sort of very loose, you know, if you've put it on the wrong side. Let's just show you. You see that? You're going to notice that it's got too much play there. Okay. Okay. And you know you're doing something wrong. Okay. But just remember that the thinner side, the cutout, the thinner cutout goes against the flange of your drive shaft, of your gearbox. Sorry. Okay. And that's it. CV join boots done. So that's our CV boot joint. You know. That's our CV joint outer with the new rubbers, new rubbers. And that's what the complete unit looks like. We'll go in a foot now. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to fit this universal joint uh, drive shaft for the the side shaft on okay so first of all with this vehicle we need to take we need to take this lever out of the way okay so you basically unlock it first okay and just sort of pull it off the ball and then just slide it to one side out of the way okay so now we'll take our shaft we'll put our shaft through over the top of the gearbox okay and you'll come to the side here you'll see we'll put our spline through the hub okay the spline nicely through the hub make sure it splines goes in and then back to the flange okay you put the flange onto the flange of the of the gearbox we'll get one of these one of these bolts to sort of thread Okay, in, anyone really, whichever one is convenient, we'll get them to thread. It would help to have a spline socket that we used to tighten it, gives you a bit of reach. So we'll put it on and we'll just get it to thread up nicely. Okay, once it threads, um, it'll be easy just to sort of turn it in by hand, okay, like that, and you get them all in one by one. They'll thread nicely as you go along. Okay, and then if it gets a little taut, you just take your half inch drive ratchet and uh, you get the ratchet in there and you start tightening it up nicely. Okay, tighten one for you just to give it a nice, make it nice and secure. And uh, I wouldn't tighten it all the way down though. Give it enough thread so that the shaft doesn't fall off. As you can see, you can do the rest by hand, just thread them first nicely. Um, use the spline socket for reach, as I said, and that is how you do it. Okay, you do all six of them like that, and that secures that secures your CV joint to your gearbox quite nicely. So yeah, just once again, we'll just uh, make sure that we tighten our bolts down nicely. Okay. There's six of them. So, we'll just hit them all nicely. Tighten down with our finch drive ratchet thing. Nice leverage. 
And as you know, we still have the wheel on so we can hold the wheel to tighten it nicely. Okay, so you do that for all six of them. Okay, one by one, just rotate the tire, the wheel, get it into position nicely, tighten it down. Okay, all six of them. So I'll go ahead and tighten all this and we'll get back. Right, so on the outside, you can see the shaft is through. Just take you there. See the shaft is basically nicely through. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put our we want to put our, our spacer washer on and we want to basically put our size 30 head bolt on. That'll that'll hold the TV joints nicely in place. Okay, so we'll go ahead and tighten that nicely. Okay, use a bit of an extension. And you just sort of tighten it up against, you know, we'll give it some stick once we put the, the wheel back down on the ground. So as you can see, this particular CV joint, we fit basically without taking the wheels off. Okay, so we've done that. We go back down to the bottom and we put our, put our gear linkage back. Length which we've taken off, just stick it back. You know, you can hear it. You can basically hear it. Click nicely, and you'll lock the, you'll lock it like that. And that's it. Okay. CV joint boots nicely been replaced. Okay. Outer and the inner. And this we have done.